Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Johan Rosman, and he is VK6RJ. He has another call here, too, VK6BLY. He's in Perth in Australia. This came today. He says, Dear Dave, thanks for your great videos. I'm a very happy Electron member of your Patreon social media. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that you are continuing to support this channel. It keeps us going. Watch every video. I have a question. Recently, there is much attention for raised radials. For POTA and beach work, I use my Zygu G90 and my Super Antenna NP1. I looked it up. It's basically got a loading coil at the bottom of it, and you've got a little scale where you can kind of pull the thing down to get the right frequency and then it goes on up from there and often I've seen them on stands they're usually the bases about this high something like that it is said often that radials when tuned like a super antenna has them are best held off the ground and suspended at the level where the antenna sits on the tripod it may be often said that. Many things are often said. I don't happen to agree. If you have a vertical and you have horizontal radials like this, the feed point impedance is going to be below 50 ohms. In fact, it could get as low as around 30 ohms. And that's going to give you a minimum of a 1.6 SWR on your Zygu G90. By the way, I have one. They've turned out to be very popular radios. Thing about the radials, if you put them on a tripod and put them out straight, you're immediately creating a safety hazard. You need to get the bottom of the antenna up about 10 feet and then pull those radials out. Now, here's the difference between ground radials and airborne radials. You want them about 10 feet, there should be two for each band. So for 40, you want two tuned radials. And so a quarter wave is about 33 feet on 40, so you need two, 33 feet in this direction, 33 feet in that direction. And similarly, you can skip the 15 meter radials because the 40s will take care of that. There's a nice harmonic relationship there. You have a three halves uh, type of a length. You got to keep the other ends of the radials up somehow. There aren't too many trees growing in beach sand. So that could be an issue. I would recommend that you just lay those radials down on the tripod and then out on the ground. You can pull them out a little bit further and so on and lay them on the ground. Get little rocks or bricks or something to kind of hold the ends in place. Wire on sand tends to slip around uh, quite a bit. Then I would make the radials insulated. Okay, insulated radials you're not very far away from the salt water when you're on the beach. If you're literally standing in the water, just throw a wire in the water and you've got your stuff in your backpack and you're in great shape. Although you'll be transmitting most of your signal out to sea. That's the lowest conductivity part of the ground system. The radials, if you're gonna lay them out in the ground, can be pretty much any length you want. You got some spare wire, then go with 10 foot radials and get 100 feet of wire and make them in such a way that you can with this antenna i know there's a kind of a plug you can put the radials in you can modify that any way that you might like and yes i looked those radials seem to be quite expensive where you can go down to a do-it-yourself store or a home improvement store and pick up electrical wire for cheap it, house wire get the insulated wire i recommend getting stranded wire because stranded wire is so much easier to work with than solid copper wire okay now my radials for my vertical out here i've got about 30 of them and they're all different lengths and they're all different kinds of wire all different thicknesses and it makes that antenna perform beautifully it's brown mounted so yes i have the 30 ohm problem now the people at step ir will tell you not to do this but you've got two things to control the length of the vertical okay and the angle at which the radials meet it as you go down with your radials the impedance goes up this is why for little two meter verticals the radials come down at an angle 
They don't go straight out. They're down at an angle. They're trying for something closer to 50 ohms. Where that thing is out there, if you get it to the point where it is matched, that is resonant, you will have that 30 ohm problem for the vertical. So you've got 50 ohms on the radio, 50 ohms on the coax, 50 ohms at the bottom of the antenna when actually it's about 30 ohms. So just use your tuner and your radio to touch that up. Thank you very much for your support of this channel. Anyone else can also become a supporter of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og and pick something that works for you. We do offer a special bonus for those who support this channel on a regular basis, and that is that you get to view the videos as soon as they're put up into the YouTube queue. Now we can put up a video and not actually make it go public for two months or two days or whatever, but you'll get to see it first. Also the people who are channel members or if you come in through the PayPal method. If you'd like to look at all the different methods you can pick, go to dcastler, that's D-C-A-S-L-E-R.com slash support. Pick one that works for you. Thank you very much. So until we next meet, 73.